I'll see you at the theater tonight. I'll hold your seat till you get there. After you get there, you're on your own. Well, that covers a lot of ground. Say, you cover a lot of ground yourself. You better beat it. I hear they're going to tear you down and put up an office building where you're standing. When I invite a woman to dinner, I expect her to look at my face. That's the price she has to pay. Here we go again. I kind of want to be more. If Mrs. Claypool wants to marry a fortune hunter, she's always got me. I'm afraid you'll never satisfy. Pardon me while I have a strange influence. You're a woman. You are a woman, aren't you? You're just a cannibal and I... Why, you're one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen, and that's not saying much for you. Remember, you're fighting for this woman's honor, which is probably more than she ever did. Oh, oh, I want some... Oh, 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 what are you... I can see you right now in the kitchen, bending over a hot stove. But I can't see the stove. Oh, oh, I want some more... Mr. Driftwood! Why, Mrs. Claypool, hello! Mrs. Claypool isn't as big a sap as she looks. How's that for lovemaking? We, we must have regard for certain conventions. One guy isn't enough. She's got to have a convention. Uh, pardon me, it doesn't feel like a... Oh, oh, All I can offer you is a Rufus over your head. Committee, I welcome you with open arms. Is that so? How late do you stay open? You take me and I'll take a vacation. I'll need a vacation if we're going to get married. I was with him till the very end. <laughs> no wonder he passed away. Will you ever forgive me? After I leave here tonight, will you ever forgive me? Now listen, Godly, Nick's on the lovemaking because I saw Mrs. Claypool first. Of course, her mother really saw her first, but there's no point in bringing the Civil War into this. Give me that. You've had quite enough of this. Quite enough. You make me think of my you. Really? You must be a big boy by now. Oh, oh, I want some more. Ah, twin beds. You little rascal, you. Oh, I can see you now, you and the moon. You wear a necktie, so I'll know you.